Well, I was approached by Frisco uh, to do the campaign. I mean, uh, for me, it made sense, you know, starting with the name. I think we think Frisco is just black coffee because... It's a, you know what, it's, 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 it's a definitely a PR strategy, a marketing strategy, because obviously he originally called himself black coffee and Frisco, come on. Well, why do I think black coffee was chosen? Well, black coffee, coffee, I think it already makes sense. It was a no-brainer for them, most probably. Uh, just for now, we were just doing, introducing the brand, the Frisco granules, into the public. But we're doing the second phase, starting from September, you know, moving forward. Who's been the ultimate idiot who's messed up their endorsement deal? I think that chick, that racist comment that she made, I think she lost her FHM title. Uh, she lost, I think it was, what was it, gym stuff or something that, that uh, she was endorsing, but whatever products that she was associated with, you know, she lost that. So unfortunately, if you're gonna go say something stupid, and especially a racist comment, chances are, you know, all the good sponsors that are associated with, associated with you are gonna pull away. So I think that's the dumbest thing that she ever did for her career. Oh. Tiger Woods! Tiger Woods, you done messed it up, even though you made a good comeback, but it'll never be the same. Gatorade, Nike, what was that other watch brand? Tag Yeah, he messed it up completely. I think smooth Audi incident and they did take the car away. I mean, that's chill. Look, I think DJ Smooth learned his lesson with the whole driving too fast thing and the whole TC deal. I think Tiger Woods has learned his lesson with the whole cheating thing and all his whole 17 pages of sponsors. The one person who really messed up an endorsement deal, hey, not Lee though, not Lee though. She went from billboards everywhere to like, and that's all I'm gonna say about it, because she asked me to sit down. represent Zambag. Somebody with big lips. It's Lunga Chabalala for the lips. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think the celebrity that would go well with Zambag, Zulu Boy. Zulu Boy, yeah! <laughs> Zamba. Zulu Boy. Ultra Mal. Dales. Oh, Trompies. I think Trompies would we definitely represent Ultramel very well. Ultramel custom. Anybody who wears shoes that are red, green, or yellow. Zex Van Duin. Have you seen his dress code? Mika Stefano. Associated with, I think more than anything else, it's just like those really trashy fashion brands. Let's dive in. There's some fashion trends now, like the Spice. I just want to say, this is the only party where you can drink coffee and get away with it. And still look cool, right? You know, everyone's like saying coffee. I'm like, yeah, coffee. That's what's going on. But you know how I know that you're black? Wow. Because your teaspoon is still in it. Oh, yeah, go on, go on, go on, go on. Yeah, yeah. But right now, I think there's an endorsement cruise happening out there right now. Really? Are you really gonna put Britney Spears on that platform to judge kids and try and choose a person who's gonna be a strong singing personality for the world? Britney Spears? Really? Come on. 